Hey guys, welcome back. So today I'm going to test whether or not Powerade Zero is keto friendly. So first things first, let's actually check to see that I'm in ketosis. I'm actually recovering from a bit of a Christmas party last night and um, it was quite an alcoholic fueled night. So let's just test to see if I'm actually in uh, ketosis. And while we're at it, we may as well test the blood sugar levels as well, see where they're sitting. So yeah, like I say, I'm recovering from a bit of a, a bit of a hangover. But as you can see there, the ketones, 1.1 millimole, and it's currently 4.57 p.m. And the blood sugar level is 4.3. So we're definitely in ketosis. So these Powerade Zeros, they're sugar free. Um, whether or not there's any benefit in the electrolyte profile, that's another conversation. But um, I drink these on occasion, not very common, but as I say, I'm recovering. So let's try it and we'll see what happens. So this one's the um, Mountain Blast. It's 600 mil drink. Uh, as far as the calories go, it's supposedly 9.6 calories per serve, and this whole bottle's a serve, with 0.6 of a gram of carbohydrates. Um, from what I could see, So that's the whole bottle. Um, so basically what I'll do now is I'll wait two hours and then I'll retest and um, we'll see what effect this has on the ketones. All right guys, I'll see you in two hours. Okay, so it's nearly been two hours since I drank the Powerade Zero. So let's test these ketones again. In that two hour period, I basically had a shower I watched uh, an episode of Making a Murderer and that was about the extent of it. So I haven't done any exercise or anything that you would think would boost these ketone levels. So let's just have a look now. So here we have it, the ketone level has come back at 0.9 and the blood sugar at 4.4. So from 1.1 millimole at, it's basically at 6.49 now. So it's one hour and 50 minutes. So from 1.1 millimole down to 0.9 millimole, that could just be normal fluctuation. So I wouldn't read into that too much. So as far as Powerade Zero being a keto friendly option, for me, at this point in my keto journey, it is. So um, tomorrow I'm gonna test the Coke Zero and uh, we'll see how that affects my ketones. I'll see you there. Okay, so part two of is this keto friendly? Today we're going to test the, uh, the Coke No Sugar. So let's see if this is keto friendly. So today's been a little bit different compared to yesterday. I was actually up early, got a good gym session in, and then from there I had a steak for breakfast with a coffee and then I've actually been for a scuba dive so I've returned back from the scuba dive and managed to grab myself a bunch of crayfish again but um, let's just test these ketones and see if I'm in ketosis so let's get this one so while we're at it once again we'll test the blood sugar as well So we've got the blood sugar here at 4.2 millimole. And we've got the ketones at 1.6 millimole. So clearly we're in ketosis. So the Coke no sugar, 
once again, it's not something I'll drink all the time, but if I am going to drink alcohol, then the Coke No Sugar is usually what I mix my whiskey with. And if you miss Coke, or if you miss soft drink, then the Coke No Sugar is probably a great option. Yes, it's got artificial sweeteners, but I would say the artificial sweeteners are still better than the sugar. So anyway, I'm gonna drink this bottle. It's currently 13 minutes past 11. This is a 1.25 liter. I'll drink the whole bottle and then I'll test my ketones and blood sugar again in about two hours. So I'll swig this down and then I'll catch us back to test these blood sugars again. Okay, so it's been a little bit over two hours, but nothing's ever perfect in this world. So let's just test the blood sugar and we'll see how the Coke Zero affected my ketone levels. So let's get the ketones. And once again, while we're at it, we'll do the blood sugar. So it was 4.2 for blood sugar levels and 1.6 for ketones. So let's go with the blood sugar level. We've got 3.6 for the blood sugar level. So the blood sugar levels actually dropped and the ketones are 2.0. So the ketone levels have actually risen. So there you have it guys. For me, at this stage of my ketogenic journey, Coke, no sugar, and Powerade Zero are ketogenic or keto friendly. Like I say, it's not something that I will consume all the time, but it's something that I'm not afraid to consume. So try it for yourself and see what the effects are. Anyway guys, thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the next video.